Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Joystick. Hey, let's take a look at how you would install Control My Joystick. We're just going to take a quick look at this. So um, first of all, get the correct Control My Joystick installable. So you go to the Control My Joystick website, scroll down a little bit to see the requirements here. So you're going to need a 64-bit version of Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. So if you have a 32-bit operating system, it's not going to work. So make sure you have 64 bits. And uh, okay, and optionally you need a microphone. It's nice to have one for voice commands, but you don't need one. And you're going to uh, also optionally have a 3DX connection controller, optional joystick. You can even use your smartphone or a tablet to control uh, macros, control my joystick, but uh, it's optional. You just need 50 megs hard drive space, and uh, that's it. Okay, so. Let's download it. Currently it's version 5.1. And we do a download, it'll save. And I'm just gonna fast forward to a previously downloaded one. And here it is. So first of all, uh, this is digitally signed. So if you right click on it and go to properties, look at the digital signature, it's by Tetherscript, which is the company that makes control my joystick. And when it's signed like this, that means that nobody has tampered with it uh, since we built it and uploaded it uh, to the website. So let's double click on it to uh, launch the installer. And it's going to require admin permissions because it's going to install some drivers. So uh, we have the software agreement here, hit next. Most uh, recent release notes. Pick your installation location. I'm just gonna use the default. And here we go, we'll make a desktop shortcut. Now it's installing some drivers and that's it. So now it'll launch control my joystick automatically if you select it to, and it's gonna give an option here to put in a product key. If you purchase it, this is where you put in your, your key that you receive in the email, then you hit validate. But for now, we'll just continue the validation and it's good for 14 days, it's fully functional. Everything works on here. Let's take a look at what it has installed. So if we were to look at Windows Device Manager, go up to the view menu, devices by connection. You can see that it's installed three virtual drivers. And this is virtual joystick, keyboard, and mouse drivers. So when you create a macro with a script in Control My Joystick, it actually sends that information to the drivers, and the drivers are read by your games. So they appear uh, as legitimate hardware devices. And those drivers are also user mode and uh, digitally signed as well. So initially here, if you like, you can keep the tooltips on, but when you're done with them, you can turn them off, and uh, that's it. And it has, by default, installed a bunch of tutorials here, and uh, it's a good idea just to start with the very first one and the introduction and see what it has to say, and kind of go from there. All right, so that's installing Control My Joystick. Have fun.